Hi, my name is Ola Rosling. And I'm Anna Rosling Ronlund. We founded the Gapminder Foundation together with Hans Rosling, Ola's father. Together, the three of us have written a book, Factfulness, and it's actually going to be available in 24 languages pretty soon. Unfortunately, one year ago, my father passed away in the middle of writing the book together with us. And since then, the two of us have spent night and day finalizing the book. So we're very, very happy that finally it's ready. Yeah. And we're now going to show you a clip that we recorded two years ago together with Hans. It explains how we ended up deciding to write this book. <laughs> It all started in this very living room, 17 years ago, and at the dinner I couldn't resist showing you my first version of this bubble graph, where each bubble is a country, down here income, here health, and, and color was the different continents. And I remember that you sort of liked it. Yeah, I did, and we actually brought it home, and do you remember, and put it on our wall at home. And the fun thing was that our friends also started liking it, so they started talking about the bubbles and so on, and we... I think that was the starting point when we realized that we really wanted to work further on the project. So you were making an animated version of it and you were started using the animated version on, on your lectures and it seemed quite popular. And that we attract so much data actually, as uh, so we realized this won't work, we need to somehow scale it up. We were very lucky yeah. at that first TED talk in 2006 we, which we prepared jointly my talk. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then when I finished the talk, Two persons came rushing up on stage. First was Al Gore, and the second was a little shorter. It was Larry Page, the co-founder of Google. Mm -hmm. And Larry Page looked at me, you know, the old professor, and then he said, who wrote the code? He understood directly that this old man hadn't done the code. And I had to answer, well, it's my son, his wife, and a team of programmers. They are invited to come to Google and present it. Our hope was that Google would kind of steal the idea. Instead, they wanted us to work at Google to develop what later became the Google public data, where uh, users across the world can search data. And we liberated, together with the World Bank, public data and also from Eurostat and others, so that in the search result you can find the latest statistics from the official source. So that's a great achievement to democratize access to data. Unfortunately, very few people search for data, and if you find the data, it's often fragmented. You don't get, get the big world view from fragments in a Google result. The, we went back to Gapminder, where we had left Hans some years earlier, to actually develop teaching material. Yeah, and for us to uh, prioritize, we realized we should go out and just measure. But what was the sad news, or shocking even, was that people knew barely nothing, right? Yeah. The ignorance was so massive. Yeah. So. And we did public service and with survey mm -hmm. companies through the internet. And, and, and with those results, I said, but the professional groups I lecture to now, you know, in United Nations and university and, and uh, in corporate sector, they must know this. Mm -hmm. And then, then we got these uh, answering devices, you know, where you could put questions and they answered. And to our surprise, we found the same lack of uh, knowledge of major demographic change, health change, economic change in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's when we realized we have to write a book where we put all these things together. And this is the book called Factfulness that we have done together. This clip was recorded two years ago. And since then, the Gapminder Foundation has tested the general public in 14 countries with fact questions about the state of the world. The results were absolutely terrible, even worse than we expected. Among 12,000 people, the vast majority got almost all the questions wrong, as you will see in the book. It seems like people are suffering from an overdramatic worldview. They think the world is in much worse shape than it actually is, and this leads to terrible decisions and tons of unnecessary stress. To solve this problem, though, we needed to understand how is it even possible that so many people are getting so many things so wrong? Well, fortunately, we found clear patterns behind the common misconceptions. And together with Hans, we identified the 10 dramatic instincts 
that make people misinterpret the world again and again and leading to an overdramatic worldview. It all sounds bad, but actually, our book... <laughs> 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 Actually, our book is truly comforting because it gives you concrete rules of thumb to control your dramatic instincts and it actually teaches you the new relaxing thinking habit which we call factfulness. And Hans's stories are really fun. 